What's up everyone? My name's Dabney. You probably don't recognize my face, but you might recognize my voice because I'm r slash over on my other channel where I read Reddit stories. And I figured, hey, I already read Reddit stories. Why not react to Reddit videos and GIFs and images and all that kind of stuff? So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna try out this new channel, see if any of it sticks. And I figured the best place to start would be r slash cringetopia. Why? Because to be totally 100% honest with you, I feel kind of cringy myself doing this. Kind of cringe topic, cringe topical. Holy shit, go to prison. Just a reminder that I'm someone who thinks that sex with animals is ethical, deeply fun, and enjoyable for both parties involved and should be destigmatized and decriminalized. And apparently there are two whole people who have this opinion. All zoo sexuals are valid. I support zoos who are in therapy. I support zoos who don't want therapy. I support zoos who are non-practicing. I support zoos who are practicing safely. Yeah, what if we just didn't have sex with animals? You know what the big problem with this? I mean, there's a lot of problems with it. What's that thing called? Is it, is it the Harkness test? Harkness test? So the idea is, is it ethical to have intercourse with this thing? According to the Harkness test, the answer is no for animals. Here's why. Does it have human intelligence or greater? No, all animals are dumber than humans. Can it talk or otherwise communicate with language? There was that gorilla, was it gorilla? Talking gorilla sign language? Coco. Coco was the female Western lowland gorilla who knew sign language. So theoretically, Coco the gorilla, specifically that one gorilla could consent with language by saying, me, you, <laughs> make bang bang in jungle. The problem is it's a gorilla. You know, actually I heard once, I don't know if this is true. I've heard that of all the apes, all the great apes. So orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees are the three great apes and then humans. Of all those four, humans have the biggest package. I'm not sure why that is because gorillas are massive. Even the largest of gorillas, more than twice as heavy as a human, will have a penis just two and a half inches long. Two and a half? That's... Gorillas are really packing this? That adds like another completely separate layer of complexity. Where like, even if the gorilla could consent, you would split that gorilla in half. This is the weirdest thing I've ever talked about in my life. Was this channel a mistake? I'm already talking about gorilla penises. Big yikes. Babe, I have no tampons left. Oh no, what should we do? I thought about... Wait, I know. All right, all right. Full confession, I'm not a woman. I've never had a period. I'm not 100% certain on the mechanics of how periods work, but I'm pretty sure that this is a this is a terrible solution. Is he just putting just like and just leave it there for three days? She's like walking around the house like some waddling around like a duck with this guy following behind her. What do they do if she if she gets diarrhea? Instead of <laughs> instead of doing this, he does one of these. The shocker. Two in the pink, one in the stink. Two in the mutton, one in the button. <laughs> Two in the slut. One in the butt. Two in the beauteous. One in the gluteous. Two in the deli meat. One in the smelly meat. I got sidetracked here. The point is, I don't think that this is a good solution for personal hygiene. You go to the grocery store, and instead of tampons and all that stuff, it's just this dude standing there. Like, yo, what do you need? Are you looking at like a, a light flow day or a normal flow or a heavy flow day? I got you covered. Gives you his business card. It says Doug the plug on it. This is the worst TikTok I've ever seen in my entire life. By a lot. Oh man. Goodbye, dude with nose ring. I hope I never see you again for the rest of my life. Calm down, bro. This dude's ripped. I am uncomfortable. I do not like this. I don't like that at all. <laughs> the face you make when licking the last remains of the pudding cup clean. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. I did not know. Did you know African warriors could see, hear, and smell over three and a half miles away? But after they were made captives, Europeans' diet dulled their senses. This feels uncomfortably racist. 
It's somehow weirdly racist in both directions. This person thinks that black people had like wolf senses that they could smell out in th three and a half miles, three and a half miles in all directions. That's a seven mile wide circle with an African person in the center. Man, I can't get over the idea of like what it would actually be like to smell three and a half miles away. I can't even smell three and a half feet away. And I'm, I'm glad that I can't because if I could, then I would smell my dog's breath, my dog's feet, which smells like corn chips because all dog feet smell like corn chips for some reason. And then my dog's butt. I'd smell my own butthole. I'd smell my neighbor's butthole. I would smell the buttholes and the feet of every single person on my street, in my neighborhood, I'm within three miles of a college campus at the moment. So that is thousands of co-ed buttholes I would be smelling right now. And thank God I'm not. I don't want to go through my life smelling a carousel of buttholes. Here, three miles away? That's just as crazy as the smell. I can't hear what's going on in the house next to me, right? I'd hate to be able to smell three and a half miles away. I'd be sniffing every fart and poop in my apartment complex endlessly, whether I wanted to or not. Right? That's what I'm worried about. Very confused by this one. Transracial influencer wants penis reduction surgery, so they look 100% Korean. Yo, why are you doing my, my Korean Bellas out there like that? You can't be like, in order to be officially Korean, you have to have a small thing. Come on, man. That's a low blow. I could understand it if you wanted to look more like a gorilla, because we all know gorillas aren't packing much. But don't do Koreans like that, man. Palpable chemistry between them. We're gonna have a happy life together. So did you enjoy everything last night? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She seems a little bit like that kind of hostage energy. Like, for my own safety. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, no. I did. Do I need to go get a satisfaction survey? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Being married, we can now sleep in the same bed. We consummate. A Kinyi. Oh, that's such a cool name. A Kinyi from Nairobi. Did the marriage and it went well. <laughs> wait, wait, pause. pause. <laughs> Two in the cookie, one in the dookie. Can't stop me, man. So the cookie jar is wow. taken care of. Buddy. This is awkward. This guy is practically begging this girl to say, please just tell everyone that I'm good at the sex. She's important. You think we have it? You think we have chemistry? I think we have it. Yeah. Yeah. Man, the insecurity off of this dude. This is like a one minute clip. He wants a satisfaction survey. He wanted to make sure the cookie was taken care of. He wanted her to tell the camera that he was good in bed. And he wants to verify that we have chemistry. He reeks of desperation and validation. And this girl looks like a hostage, to be totally honest with you. Help me! Those dead eyes when she said we consummated the marriage. <laughs> is this show called My Hostage, My Bride? This is exactly what I'm thinking, man. She really looks like she's going to face physical harm if she does not agree with this dude. Yikes, 18 plus. Oh, oh, I didn't like that at all. I hate that. This guy's practicing to be a tampon, I think. <laughs> Nothing more arousing than a grown man rubbing out his blanket. Oh, man. Does this work? Does this work on anyone? Yeah. You like that one? You like me rubbing my phone? This feels so awkward. I don't like this at all. Why did I start this channel? She's supposed to be dead, Skull. Yo, Voldemort was just sucking out this dude's soul. Your soul is mine. This chick looks like Voldemort. Harry Potter, I want to kiss you on the lips. Does this dude look 18 to you? He looks 18 to me. Like, over 18, I mean. He probably looks like 21, 22. So, I mean, consenting adults, consenting adults, what are you gonna do? 
not illegal, it's just weird. You guys watch Ozark? That girl from Ozarks? Old lady from, old lady from Ozarks? Darlene Snell. She also dated some like 17 year old guy in, uh, in the show. <laughs>